Look at the size of those leaves. What is inside of a bubble? No. <laughs> Copying me, right? <laughs> the learning environment is the starting point for implementing the creative curriculum. Teachers plan for three aspects of the learning environment. The physical environment, a predictable structure, and the classroom community. A well-organized physical environment promotes active learning and encourages children to care for their classroom. A predictable structure in the form of a daily and weekly schedule allows children to know what to expect and understand what is expected of them. Everybody have a partner? Yes. Yeah. The classroom community, a positive social climate, helps children to feel good about school and learn from each other. Good. Hello, neighbor. What do you say? When the three aspects of the creative curriculum learning environment are implemented well, children develop positive learning behaviors. They can make choices, use materials purposefully, work cooperatively, sustain engagement, and feel competent. A well-planned and engaging physical environment sets the stage for teaching and learning. When I'm setting up the environment, I really have to think about the social, emotional development. Will they be able to become independent learners and workers as well as be able to do something with someone else in a successful way? Do you want to work at this table with us? Yes. Yes? Okay, then put your name right up here. A big part of trying to build their independence is creating an environment that is labeled properly so that they can successfully take something out, put it back, and feel good about what they've done. We have signs that are labeled Spanish and English. We use different colors so they are aware that the words in black are English and the words in Spanish are red. Look at, play with this, the beanbag. You have to think about how many children are going to be in an interest area and if there are four children is there enough room for them to be side by side and work together and independently teachers also think about how to adapt the environment for children with special needs they include materials flexible enough to meet the needs of all learners including those with disabilities the creative curriculum physical environment is divided into interest areas because they are ideal settings for preschool children to develop positive learning behaviors as they explore. That looks bigger. It sure does. Make things. Make a train. Solve problems. What could we do to make it stay? Tape it on. Tape it on and pursue their own interests. Okay. Blocks appeal to young children, how they feel, their inherent organization, and because they can be used to build real structures. When I observed what Prince had done in the block area, it was so elaborate. He pointed out which picture that he was working on. Yeah, that's Walgreens. That's a Lincoln. He included the people, the parking lot, even his own sign. Prince told Sharon which letters to write on his sign. Initially, the dramatic play area is set up like a home. Children draw on first-hand experiences, work cooperatively to take on pretend roles, and act out familiar situations. Hola. Como estas? Right? Si. He says he wants to know how you're doing. He wants to talk to you. Fine. <laughs> Do you have a bad connection? I almost got this one. As the year progresses, changes to the dramatic play area reflect topics of study. I got this one. As Adam's class studies wheels, the dramatic play area becomes a wheel repair shop. Oh, it's coming out, it's coming out. 
Toys and games should include four types of materials. Self-correcting, structured toys, open-ended toys, collectibles, and cooperative games. Okay, I'm going to mix them all up. This is the ocean marina. In the art area, children create and represent their ideas. Appealing materials that are well organized invite children to make choices so their creativity can flourish. And when children's artwork is respectfully displayed, it sends a message that their work is valued. And I haven't taken a bath in almost two days. <laughs> the library area, an oasis in the classroom, nurtures a love of books and reading. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Sharon's library is also her space for group time. I focused on getting all the children in a circle so that we can see one another and connect to one another. This is a story of the three little pigs. And, and the wolf. Exactly, you've heard the story before. I paid attention to making the area more homey and comfortable. And what can we do with this? We see somebody here. Where should I put it? In the discovery area, children explore interesting materials and experiment with cause and effect as they conduct scientific investigations. What happens to things when you put them under there? Um, we see a big, big rock. You see big rocks. Last year, the materials that I put out were too advanced. I never tackled showing them how to use that area. This year, I added natural materials, seashells, rocks, small marbles. It's only been four weeks, and I've already noticed that they are working more independently. While sand and water play delights the senses, it also challenges children's minds. You look and tell me when to stop. Stop! Do you think this would be too heavy for your bowels to count over? Introducing interesting tools and materials motivates children to sustain engagement in their work. How would you use this? Squeeze it. Does it feel heavier? I will put it. Where do you want to put it? In here. Okay, you want to put it in there with water? Or do you want to put it in there empty? I get the water. Oh, okay. You want to put some water in there? Yeah. How can you put the water in there? <laughs> Music and movement bring children great joy. Children learn to listen carefully, sing, imitate rhythms, and coordinate movements. Hey, hey, zigzag, zigzag, Amy. While you two are continuing to make your balls, Reggie is going to start making the next batch. In the cooking area, children have the rare treat of doing the same things that grown-ups do. I have to and do the butter. Okay. They work with others to create food to share with other children. Mm. Six, Six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine, nine penguins. This one for only one more. In the computer area, children use interactive and engaging software to acquire knowledge and develop skills. There's one. The children use the computers as a buddy system. If two children are working at one computer, sometimes the child doesn't have all the skills that are needed, but the child sitting next to him may, and they teach each other. Try this with the cookies. We already tried that one. Then okay. let's try the food. How can we make it deeper so that the things move downstream with the water? The outdoors offers many ways to enrich the curriculum and support children's development and learning. Hey, look what's happening to the water, Jackson. We made a stream. You sure did. We've got opportunities for sand play, mud play. We need some 
more water. Get some, everyone. Yay! And art. This one is really lovely. And music. It's just an outdoor classroom. An orderly classroom requires storage space, open storage for materials accessible to children, secure storage for materials teachers want to control, and personal storage. Next, teachers establish a clear structure for each day. A predictable daily and weekly schedule provides structure and helps children feel safe and secure so they can focus on learning. A consistent routine at arrival time helps children transition into the classroom day and feel competent because they know what to do. They look for their name and they move it over to the school side. And when we all finally get to the morning meeting, it's a neat way for me to just quickly say, oh, look who's here today. Everybody came to see. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning how do you do? Establishing a familiar sequence to morning group time helps children to participate cooperatively and stay engaged. Morning, Group meetings might include morning, greetings, Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Good morning Isabella. Good morning. Good morning. A discussion. Can you tell me, Anaya, what you noticed on your way to school today? She has leaves. That's terrific. Songs. Hello and how are you? Let's do it. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. A story. What happens to them? Ken. They get big. They get bigger. And introducing materials for choice time. If you want to go to the water table, I have some new things that we're going to put there. Who is this? Kristen! After group time, Lynn hands out cards with each child's picture and name. Benjamin with a B. Children place these cards on the planning board in the interest area they choose. B for Brandon. This also defines the number of children at an interest area and helps them work more cooperatively. And we'll see what you're going to do in the choice areas. Make a choice. In the creative curriculum classroom, Choice time is structured to promote positive learning behaviors. Children use materials purposefully when they are organized and appealing, and there's adequate space to work. Materials appropriate for a range of developmental levels ensure that children will be challenged and experience success. And it's far. Far? Where, where is far? I don't know where it is. It's by Isn't it put out, boy? No. In the creative curriculum, teachers include small group experiences in flexible ways. Small group time in Sharon's room is built into the schedule. I took a picture of me and my brother. Okay, I you have, have more people in your family than this? Yeah, I have four in your family. family. I got um, my, my Uncle Harry. Uh -huh. Is that you? Lewis uses a part of choice time to work with small groups. To the top of the coconut tree. Now let's wait until Leah puts ABC up. Now go up the stairs. Sometimes I use our outdoor time for small group learning. Through the house and down the slide. I organized an obstacle course to support up. math learning. And back in line. What's that sound? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Teachers structure transitions so that they are peaceful and productive. Clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. Hands behind your back, hands behind your back. We're going down the cub track. <laughs> Children need gross motor experiences daily. When weather permits, they go outdoors. If not, Teachers organize indoor gross motor experiences. I like the tortilla. I like the boy. 
when teachers take time to help children learn systematic routines for meal times. Okay, now you can put the serving spoon inside and maybe one would like to try it. I like to try it. You don't want to try it? You could try it. And rest. Thank you so much for cleaning up, John. Children can move through these times of the day calmly and smoothly. Afternoons will vary from program to program, depending on when the children leave for the day. They may include time for playing outdoors, working in interest areas, reading aloud, 79 gallons of bath water, and music and movement. Now let's look, and we're going to look back to the beginning. What happened here? The end-of-the-day routine sends children off with a sense of closure and positive anticipation of the next day. What happened here? During Closing Circle, we have a calendar recorder every day who will write on something that happened that day. Can you tell us what you drew that happened today? We um, go outside. We went outside. Where outside? We're part of playground. Out the playground? Okay, can I write that down here? She said, we went outside on the playground. Let's put a bunch of choices out on the shelf. Like three choices? Let's put out three choices. Day-to-day -day teaching happens in the context of weekly planning. I have to be careful that I don't go into every experience with my own agenda. Sometimes things don't work out quite that way. I write all my lesson plans in pencil because they change. Creating a classroom community, the third aspect of the learning environment, affects how children feel in school and how they get along with others. Oops. Carol helps children learn to respect and appreciate each other by writing children's names using the alphabet of their home language. A place for group time where children can see and hear each other helps to build a sense of community. The children in my classroom are very respectful, patient, and caring. They see what another boy or girl might need or want. A big part of that comes from the fact that inclusion is just that. It's, it's in the classroom. When do you want to tell us about it? You want to tell us about it? Like K-4-B and Kimberly. Positive social relationships among children and adults are the core of the classroom community and create the best environment for learning. You have to respect them and they're going to respect you. It's just about getting to know the children, making them feel comfortable. Classroom jobs also help create a strong sense of community and encourage positive learning behaviors. Who's our counter? Let's find out who's here today. Well, let's look at the job chart. Oh, it's Anaya. Come on, Anaya. The kids will have more of a sense of ownership if they establish the jobs. Involving children in establishing rules and offering verbal and visual reminders helps children relate to others respectfully. Thank you. You're being very kind. When teachers carefully plan for the three aspects of the learning environment and promote positive learning behaviors, fewer social problems and challenging behaviors emerge. Nonetheless, we have to expect the problems may arise. Children in Lewis's class were so eager to share ideas in group meeting that they all tried to talk at once. This made listening to each other and taking turns difficult. Lewis involved the children in addressing the problem. I was having difficulty getting the children to raise their hands and we came up with raise your hand, catch your words. Catch your words and raise your hand. Max is catching his words and raising his hand. We took a picture of one of the children raising their hands and catching their words and we put it up by the meeting area. I have all of our interest areas with words and pictures, and I hold this in front of a child. Writing center or art center, come and make a choice, please. What I'm doing is, is narrowing the choices to help the child who is struggling. Adam sings with children to ease tensions. Everyone has an opportunity to relax and have fun, unwind or let down any barriers that they have.
When the three aspects of the learning environment are intentionally planned, teachers can teach and children will learn. Take it slow, enjoy them, get to know them, and from there the learning's gonna happen.